Let's go over how we can turn on text-to-speech on a Chromebook. So to turn it on, you're going to go ahead and click on the clock area down on your Chromebook. And then once that pops up on a student's Chromebook, you're going to click on accessibility. And then on accessibility, you're going to want to go ahead and select text-to-speak. The top one, Chrome Box, is going to be where it will read everything entirely on the page for someone that has a little bit different visual acuity. So we're going to go ahead and have select to speak turned on, and then once it's turned on, you'll see it right there. To get our select to speak to work, first of all, you'll be on a Google document, a web page, whatever it is. You're going to go ahead and, and click on it once so it turns blue. Then you're going to go ahead and click and drag over, you can see it's going to read this section. One. Understanding how long While it's reading it, I can change the speed right here. Monthly password. Or slower. By default, it'll be one. And then I can go ahead and turn it off and then I can go ahead and select another area that I'd want to do for text-to-speech. So again, click it once so it turns blue. And then go ahead. Estimated time, five minutes. And it will read you. If you and pause. So again, you can see I still have text-to-speech turned on by clicking right there, and now it's turned off. Another cool feature on a Chromebook, again, that's going to work a slightly different on a Windows computer, is you can go ahead and have a page open where you're going to have all kinds of content. And sometimes it's hard for students to focus on what's there, whether or not it's ads or other things. That so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and then click up here on the very top where it's going to give me my side panel. And then I have an option right here of switching to reading mode. Reading mode will really go through and take that information and then present it in a not distracting way. I can go ahead and increase my font size. I can go through and change the color background. I can go through and change my font as well. Now my text to speech is going to work over here as well. So I can go ahead and select this. Odd couples. Four surprising presidential VP pairings. You'll notice now that it stopped, but I can go ahead and click next. You will notice with the text to speech, it does go through and highlight the words. So that is a great option. Um, we can also do um, that on a PDF document as well. So this is a PDF document that is listed within my Google Drive. And then I can go through and again, the reading mode just takes away any of those extra ads or things that'll pop up that makes it more distracting. So what we're gonna go over right now is how on a Windows computer to make sure that the reading mode comes up. Windows computer Chrome is going to be different than the, a student's Chromebook. So here I have this article right here and I want to put it in reading mode. And if I click up here on my side view and then I try to find reading, um, reading mode, it's not there. So what you really want to do in on a Windows computer, you're going to go ahead and type in Chrome colon slash slash flags. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in control F and do reading. Instead of default, I'm going to go ahead and make this enabled. So I'm going to go have to go through and relaunch Chrome. It'll quickly. You can see here that reading mode is now enabled because it's marked blue. So now when I go back to this article and click on my side panel, same article, but with um, having that flag turned on, you're going to find that reading mode is going to be enabled. So again, this is going to be a tip for people on a Windows computer that want to use that reading mode and demo it for students. Now, reading mode is going to be used for web pages, not necessarily Google Docs. And also don't forget the text-to-speech feature is a feature on a Chromebook, not on a Windows computer. 
Hope that helps.